This is the Linear Accelerator at the Northwest Cancer Centre. It uses electricity to make two types of radiation, X-rays which are used to treat targets deep inside the body, and electrons which are used to treat targets on the skin or just beneath. This 3D modelling software is displaying dose on a patient's CT scan. It shows how electrons give a high dose to the skin, but don't penetrate far into underlying tissues. Radiation therapy beams need to be shaped precisely to suit each individual patient. X-rays are shaped with a system of motorised leaves inside the machine. Electrons have to be shaped very close to the area that they are treating. To shape an electron beam as the doctor orders, we'd normally print out the image at a specific scale, cut out the shape, glue it to some foam, use a hot wire to cut the foam to that shape, trimming off any pointy bits, before using this jig to pour molten alloy all around the foam as it sits on a cooling tray. Obviously there are small variations introduced in the process of cutting the paper and then cutting the foam. Instead of paper and glue, there are purpose-built um, computerised foam cutting systems available, but they start at around $40,000. We're trying a new process where we instead put the patient shape into CAD software, extrude it to make it three-dimensional, save it as an STL file, and then email it to the Tamworth Library, where they very kindly print it out on their 3D printer. The printed shape can then be put into the jig and have the alloy poured around it. The molten alloy is only heated to a temperature of about 78 degrees, so it doesn't affect the 3D printed plastic. No other preparation is necessary. Once the alloy shape has been checked by the physics department, it can be used to shape the beam for treatment.